Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tiny Adventures in Hero Forge. And I'm going to be making some more miniatures today. I'm really excited about this, but before we get into that, I'm very happy that my microphone is working. Didn't screw it up this time. Um, Alright, so here we are in Hero Forge, and before we get into actually building a miniature, I want to actually take some time and show you guys the model that I actually got printed. Uh, so this guy here is somebody that I designed for a uh, Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Um, this was my Goliath cleric, and I got him printed in 2018. So this is the model that I designed. So back then there were a few, there were fewer options for for uh, Hero Forge. They've added a lot since then, but still a pretty decent model. Uh, and uh, I paid my $42 and got him printed up and sent to me. And I actually do have an example. I took some video to show off. Now, I mean, I painted this model and it's not my best paint job, but it's pretty good. And there are my giant fingers. Um, but yeah, you can see the detail on this model. It's pretty good looking. Um, I made a, a custom base for myself, which is why I got the uh, the standard peg when I got them printed up. But I mean, it, it looks like a pretty good model for playing tabletop role-playing games. So I was pretty happy with how the print turned out. Um, I haven't got anything else printed yet, but I think that's in my future. Uh, so I've just been uh, building out more models and designing them. Uh, so last week we did that whimsical Dragonborn, or last week, what am I talking about? That was Monday, two days ago. Uh, I gotta get used to this new schedule. Uh, but yeah, so now I think what we're gonna do is we are going to um, start working on that dwarf that I started the last time. So let's get in here. So there's uh, there again, that's that's the guy that I worked on. Had printed my, my Goliath or, uh, yeah, Goliath uh, Cleric. And you can compare that to the model. Looks pretty good. I should have done a side by side. Maybe I'll do that with a future model. But yeah, so let's uh, let's grab that dwarf. So we got a bunch of heroes here. Grab our unnamed dwarf. I think we're just going to continue working with this guy. Yeah. So if you guys recall I started this up but then I had microphone issues so stopped and uh, Killstreak was in the chat and had requested a whimsical dragonborn and we made a I think I, I think it was a pretty cool uh, dragonborn that we ended up with or sorry uh, half dragon uh, I think that's what they're called but uh, as I was chatting away to absolutely nobody while building this dwarf the thing that I mentioned was that I uh, had picked a goblinoid face, goblin features for a face, which I thought was kind of an interesting choice for a, a dwarf, but uh, I kind of like the way it looks, it turns out. I really like how his, his brow just sort of goes right into that nose line. Um, I think he kind of looks maybe more like a Duragar, but uh, but I'm, I'm, we'll see. We'll see what happens once I start adding more stuff in. So I tried out a bunch of different hairstyles last time and decided that I kind of liked them bald, at least for now. I can always come back to that. And, and I like the, the semi-wrapped, non-braided beard and the bushy eyebrows. All right, so I think we had decided, or I had decided, uh, that uh, I was pretty good with the head. And, uh, and I think we're gonna move on to the body now. But uh, I, sh I guess I should kind of decide what kind of character I would be making this, this dwarf. So if there's anyone in chat who has any ideas for uh, like a D&D &D class, or maybe something from Warhammer, um, let me know if you've got some ideas for a dwarf. I'm just gonna start looking at uh, clothing. Yoink. Alright. 
So I'll probably just go through the, uh, the presets, look at a few of them, Adventurer's Outfit. Doesn't look bad, but it's not really what I'm looking for. I'm thinking maybe something more armor y. Uh, not a desert dwarf. <laughs> Although that does look pretty cool. Kind of like that. Musketeer. It says entertainer, but that hat always makes me think of musketeers. Um, I don't think we want a helmet. This. Uh, Blackguard plate might look good, but uh, and that actually does look like a dwarfy helmet. But I think I want to show off his beard. Uh, so if I do choose that, let's actually just take a quick look, see what that looks like if I take the uh, helmet off. And I bet you, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. I bet you they have some dwarf armor though. So let's go back to outfit. And just keep looking. See if we find oh, chef's whites. That's kind of cool. Yeah, dwarven armor. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Oh yeah, it's got the really geometric sort of stuff on it. Again, I'm gonna get rid of that helmet. I think we might end up getting, having to do something custom. I'll go back up to outfit. The one reason that I want to choose the black guard, black guard plate is because I use it quite often, uh, especially those those leggings. I think look really good. But maybe we can customize something with a bunch of pieces. So I'll just I'll just keep going through and looking at stuff. That half plate chest is not bad if we add some shoulder pads to it. Not hide. Do a dwarf SWAT commando. Here's some of that futuristic armor, which I find some pieces can work for fantasy. half plate maybe oh yes the paladin stuff is always good because it has the tabard um. hey Pripyat how's it going dwarves are either happy or cranky yes they have they literally have two emotions found anything that's calling out to me yet. What's this guy? Scale armor. Ranky? Yeah, he's a little hap ranky. He's got a goblin face. That's weird, isn't it? Robes. Splint. I do like the corset tavern dress. I do like that uh, leggings. I use that often for wizards. All right, you know what? I think this is going to call for individual pieces and then figure something out once we start combining stuff. And I'll make him a Blood Bowl player. Got the football one? No. That does look pretty Blood Bowl though. Maybe a little bit too futuristic. Poor samurai. Alright, go 
back to the short tunic and then just start messing around. I will start with the chest. So Black Guard is, like I said, one of my go-tos. But let's see what else we can find. No. Nope. It needs to be something bulky. Although, if I use that with shoulder pads, maybe. Hmm. There's that dwarven breastplate. I feel like the dwarven leggings were good for the dwarf. I don't know about this breastplate. Maybe that's what needs to change. That's not terrible. I mean, I'm being really picky here. All of these look pretty good, but I'm just looking for a specific look. Like something like a hev heavily armored dwarf, kind of like cleric or Paladin. Right, well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stick with this one for now. Oh, maybe this. How's that look? Two Roman. I said that that half plate might look good with. Yeah, so let's do that half plate and then see what we can find for shoulders. I'll do the legs first. Let's see if the dwarven legs look good. Do a nice search. Dwarven. That didn't really narrow it down, did it? Interesting. Paladin leggings? Maybe? I almost feel like the sci-fi leggings would work here. Something really bulky. Where are they? That's not bad. That's too soft. Not the right look. Let's see what we can do with shoulders. Mm. And then maybe the right gloves, big gloves, you know what, I think he needs sleeves, that's another thing, his arms are just really bare and exposed and then he's got like big gauntlets and big shoulder pads.
back to chest, looking something armored but with arms on it. I also need to decide what he is. Is he going to be a cleric? Because I mean that's going to determine what kind of weapon I'm going to give him. It's going to be like a your typical fantasy cleric. Dwarf cleric. Ah, oh, yeah, there's the sci-fi stuff. Kind of looks good. Sleeves are a bit puffy, but I actually quite like that. It doesn't really have too many sci-fi parts. Yeah, I like that. adjust those shoulder pads or pick something different. Maybe something round? You can always change the scale of it as well. some nice detail in it. I think that I might go with that one. So let me pick a... no. Nothing but that scarf. And I think I mentioned it last week, Monday. The scarf's pretty big. Doesn't look horrible on this dwarf though, but it does hide his beard substantially. I don't mind that though. It's not horrible. We'll see. If he needs to be bulked up at the around the neck, that's something that we could do. Now we need to cover his feet. We need some big boots. Studded leather. No, I think he needs like metal boots. Big metal boots that he's clanking around in. No. Too futuristic. Elven boots? No. He's furry. Techno organic footwear? No. Give him heels? No, those aren't heels. Ornate plate boots. That's all right. It looks a little bit futuristic. That's better. Kind of matches his gloves, gauntlets. Oh, that's cool. Dragon Knight. those Dragon Knight ones, they cover up the knees. Tactical. Orcish? Mm -hmm. No, I'm going back for the uh, Dragon ones. So we can floor in a bit with head, headgear, give him a bandana, no, hood, uh, I think 
think I'm probably gonna pass on the helmet. Helmets are fine for your character when you actually wanna wear them and get the extra AC, but I'll be honest, my favorite minis never wear helmets because you wanna see the facial detail. All right, I, I think we're actually pretty good for clothes. We're gonna to have to give them some gear. decide on what kind of weapon he has and then do some posing give him a mount on a big wolf or on a pony man I wish they had these mounts but in different poses if you're listening hero forge have some poses for your mounts so they're not always running Weapon I'm gonna give this guy a hammer, an axe. Giant or cleaver. Stone great axe? Whoa, it's huge. So I want to see something. If I choose double-handed, I know that it gives me a specific pose. Any one of the double-handed poses. But what are my advanced options? Ah, yes. So they get rid of the arms. You can't. You can't really adjust the posing once. Once it's in two hands. To do something like what I did on Monday with the. Uh, the pole arm for the dragonborn where he's sort of like leaning on it a little bit or he has it planted in the ground at least no so we're gonna have to i think we're gonna have to stick with one-handed although that one pose didn't look bad something with that interesting I could probably make my own two-handed pose just by doing the um, advanced posing I wonder how how much I can push it to do that if I go back to pose Just that his head can't 
get it back enough, can I? It's like he's resting it on his head. And the sad thing is I don't think I'm going to be able to get that arm, that other arm, holding it where I want it to. Alright, so let's go back to pose. Maybe we can find different pose to start from. I thought kind of like a jumping up with an axe above his head, asking, asking him a question. Yeah. Oh, prep. Hmm, okay. Let's try something with this. shirt there, aren't we? Gotta make sure that doesn't happen. Or if it does, it doesn't look horrible. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, what happens as I do this? Ooh. Oh. Yeah, no. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but closer. Maybe. That is, though. But I'm just trying out a bunch of different poses and sliders for this arm, or for both arms, just to see if I can get it to fit and become a two-handed wield, basically. Uh, let's see what the hand. So if you're not holding anything in the hand, you can choose different poses.
then if I tilt this, bend it right. Now I'm just adjusting it to make sure that it looks natural. That one arm was just a little too squished together. adjust the beard too much. Oh yeah, maybe a little bit of bend so that it's following gravity. if you should be tilted back forwards I think forwards back seems like he's about to take a swing but I don't think his hands are in a good position for a swing there I think he's, it's more about him carrying that axe adjust that hand to yeah. oh that looks actually pretty good I almost feel like changing the weapon in his hand to something else maybe um, you know what I'm gonna save right now and then I'm gonna try to see what a big hammer would look like. Rather than trying to undo that, oh, I can I can undo it. Pro tip. Wink. There we go. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep that. I still like that the best. And I don't even have to adjust oh I do have to adjust this shoulder pad though, look at that. Big sort of negative space there and maybe move this one a little bit. That's how I'm going to fix it. <laughs> kind of worked itself out. And then the other guy I think just needs to move up. Nope. Forward. Yeah, there we go. gear. Ooh, do we want to give him an eye patch? Oh, that looks pretty badass. Maybe on the other side. Think about it. Could be good. It's on his back cape. Nope. Maybe the slim one. Nah. What about a backpack? Got his adventuring kit in there. No options. Back items, I can hang some stuff off of that. Miscellaneous. I think there's a pot or a pan which might be interesting. Like he's got some cooking stuff with him. There we go. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> chunk. What a shovel. Or a pickaxe? No, that's like getting in the way of everything. That's all right. Trying to make it look like he's got a bunch of gear. He's getting ready to do some adventuring. Maybe if I put. Wonder is the right one always on top? Yeah. So what if I put him there? And the rope on the other side, but then I adjust that pose. Grip position too, that's good. Oh, not too much. Reverse. 
first. Awkward looking. All right. The rope. Oh, everything goes with it. gear, put some stuff on his sides. I feel like he's a dwarf. He needs something to drink. Although I don't know what this bottle will look like. Whiskey bottle. This looks like potions. do with a hand axe. Always good for an, an extra weapon. There's loads of stuff though. Drinking horn. Maybe he has a hammer rather than a hand axe. Give me a little hammer. I need a little hammer. That looks like a big hammer. Uh, no. Nope. Don't like that. Still too big. busy. I know that it was that one hand axe that looked really good. It was short. Yeah. Throwing axe. Really simple. Twist that around. What was the other one? Yeah, that's ah, too big. I like the throwing axe. It's a good size. All right, back to pose. Advanced. And you just kind of get to know which twist is which. Once you've done this enough times, change the grip position. Fix up his drinking horn. And move that forward. Bend it a bit. done. Back to gear. We've done sides. Back. Piercings. What kind of piercings is this guy gonna have? I feel like he's a dwarf. He's gonna be adorned and stuff.
can't really see that one, so I might just leave that off. But over here. side. Then one on this side. No. Alright. Mouth. Not taking any of this. No. Gas mask. No. I don't think he needs rings. Just gonna clutter up those hands but eye patch is still an option I just don't like how it's that rope is so thick or that that thread is so thick at the back of his head if I took hair and cover it up this one's not as bad it's covered mostly by that uh, the shaft of the big axe Yeah, that looks pretty good. Cool. I'm pretty happy with him. Now, I mean, if I uh, was subscribing for Pro, which I am considering, you can do a bunch of stuff in the photo booth. We haven't really played around with color yet. I'll be surprised to see what it does for his skin. I think it's gonna think that he is a goblin. No? Oh, his eyes are messed up. Yeah, we got some time. Let's mess around with color for a bit. Uh, but before we do, I should probably save, give him a name. So I'm thinking he's like a dwarf tunneler. I don't know. I don't know what I would call him. Paladin? Is he a paladin? A miner? Tunnel guard? I don't I don't know. Anybody got any ideas? Dwarf. He's not really a berserker. It doesn't look too berserky. I don't think a berserker would be wearing all that armor, carrying around a shovel. Miner? Dwarf miner? He's not young. Well, I'm gonna rename him. Dwarf Miner. And if I come up with a better name before I post this to YouTube, I will. Ah yes, good old green dwarves. Man, that eye is just freaking me out. So if we mess around with, oh, and I forgot to do it again. Minor, save. All right, now to do color. Where is it, where's that one? That eye is just insane. And then we go for theme. So it lets you pick a body, sort of um, general color scheme, which does all the skin and of course his head and hair are the only organic body stuff showing. And then for theme, you just sort of pick, and it picks colors, and it's somewhat random. But that's just sort of to get you started. Maybe something like that. 
and then I can go into actual paints. And then you can pick cloth or leather, a bunch of different ones, plastic, flame, wood. Uh, sometimes I like to try ones like stone for armor just to see what it looks like. Because it still is just a color. It doesn't necessarily have to be an actual stone. Especially if you want sort of like a non-metallic look. Lots of options for where those paints go. So I don't, I don't think I would buy one of the uh, Hero Forge painted minis. Maybe I've, I've seen some of the results and. Uh, I, I know how these 3D printers work. I know that the, the, uh, the ones that um, print in color are not super fantastic, not yet at least. I think there's still a ways to go before those become really good. I have no doubt that they will eventually get there. But, uh, but right now, I think I would prefer to buy something unpainted and paint it myself. But I mean, I'm also more of a, a painter, a model painter than I am just a collector. Oops, that's not, that's bedroll. No, messed that up. Yeah, that's basically our model. That crazy eye. What if I pick a different eye color? Like a cat eye. I feel like his eyes are a little crazy regardless. <laughs> Maybe that has to do with the fact that I picked a, a goblin face. But if I go with something dark, that'll work. All right. I think that's it for the stream today. Uh, I like to keep these uh, tiny adventures tiny in, uh, in time as well. So I usually only go for about an hour, um, but uh, I will be back doing another miniature uh, on Friday at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern, and I will keep this going on for a while to come. So if you have any um, suggestions or characters that you'd like me to build in Hero Forge, I'm all ears. Uh, otherwise, I'll just pick something random again and keep going. Uh, thanks so much for uh, being a part of the stream. And uh, I will see you all hopefully on Friday. Take it easy. Oh, and before I go, I should actually mention our other shows. So I know Prip was here watching. Thanks for showing up, Prip. Uh, Prip and I uh, will be playing uh, some more Ghosts of Tsushima Legends Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern. We're actually looking for some more players, so if you're on PS4 or PS5 uh, and you're playing Ghost of Tsushima and you're interested in doing some co-op or some raids, uh, hey, give me that. Uh, you have a good day too. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in playing some um, Ghost of Tsushima Legends, um, check it out on Thursday uh, and let us know uh, in, in the comments or in the chat if you're interested in joining. Uh, we'd love to have you do some raids and do some nightmares and some survival mode. 
Um, and then on Saturdays, Prip and I will be playing eight-year-old squad leader where his eight-year-old son, Kid Codifier, uh, bosses us around in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. It's usually a pretty good time and we've always had guests on that one as well. Uh, so tune in and check it out. And then Sundays, very early. Um, so if the kids are up and are looking for something to watch, I do a kid-friendly um, sort of let's build where I'm building bases in No Man's Sky and just giving some tips and pointers uh, for No Man's Sky players, not just kids, on how to build stuff and make things look like a realistic looking bases. So those are my shows. And again, I'll be back on Friday with uh, Tiny Adventures, but first up will be Ghosts of Tsushima Legends with Pripyat. Everyone take care, have a good night, and I will see you soon. <laughs>